Mrs. Shell with Tangi Library Baby and Me. Welcome back to the A Meat Branch. I hope you're enjoying the videos on Facebook, but don't forget we are open and live and in person. And I'm at all six Tangi Library branches. So I hope that you will go to tangilibrary.com and sign up to come and see me. Um, you pick your branch, you pick your day, and I will come and hang out and we'll do bubbles and toys and books and songs and all kinds of fun things, okay? But for the video today, we are going to start with our hello song, which we do every week. Um, Grown-ups of Littles, if you want to go ahead and touch the body parts along with me, um, you'll be amazed how quickly the babies will pick it up because we do do this song. Our opening song and our ending song are the same every single week, um, so they get to know those very well. We do do other songs during the live story time. So we're going to start where we always do, which is when we touch our nose. Okay. And then today, we are going to go back to wiggling our fingers. We've done that before, but fingers are super fun. So we're going to wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then we're going to find our mouth, and we're going to go, okay? So we're, we're going to touch our mouth. And then the last thing we always do is we boop our belly. So where is your belly button, guys? Find your belly button and get ready to boop it. Okay, and grown-ups, if you're there helping your little, give a little tickle because that's fun and Shell's not there to do it. So it's your job. You got to do the tickles. All right. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you wiggle your fingers? Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your fingers. Well, hello, everybody. Can you wiggle your fingers? Wiggle your fingers. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your mouth? Bala. Touch your mouth. Bala. Touch your mouth. Bala. Hello, everybody. Can you touch your mouth? Bala. Touch bala. your bala. mouth. Bala, la, la, la. Okay, find your belly button. Well, hello everybody, can you boop your belly, boop your belly, boop your belly. Well, hello everybody, can you boop your belly, boop your belly. Good job. I love making sounds with my mouth. Okay, that is one of a really good grown-ups. If you have a little kid who's trying to form words and learn to talk, teaching them how to do like blah, 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 is a great skill. Teaching them to do is a good skill. Another one, can you guys do this? You just make the sound, but you just wiggle your lip with your finger. These are all great pre-language things that get those tongues and, and, and lips moving so that they're more likely to form words. Another great one is animal sounds. Kids can quite often say moo before they can say mom. So I encourage you to be silly and crazy and kooky with your littles at home. So we are reading um, another book about pugs because they're my favorite. And this pug is not any kind of special pug. But he has a friend named Chick who thinks he's a superhero pug. So we're going to learn about that in just a minute. But before we start our story, I want to go over our sign language. Now, last week we learned dog, which we just pat our side like we're calling our dog. Like, come on, puppy. That's how you say dog. And chicken, you take your little cheep, 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 cheep fingers, your thumb and your pointer, cheep, cheep, and you just poke them down in your hand, cheep, cheep, because that's how chickens eat when they're getting things off the ground or in the feeder. They just cheep, cheep, peck the ground. Okay, so we're going to pretend our hand is the ground and just cheep, cheep, like that, okay? This month and last month, our color was yellow. So uh, we have one more week of yellow, and then we're going to go into something else this week and next week. Um, and yellow is our pinky and our thumb, and we just wiggle them like this, okay, yellow. And our shape is star, and star is just doing the boogie, pointing at all the star, 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 okay? All right, let's get to our story. Our story is Chicken Pug by Jennifer Sattler, and we are reading it with permission of Bloomsbury. 
And um, there's actually a couple of these. There is Chick and the Love Pug. There's a couple of different stories written by Je Jennifer Sattler. And um, I do love them all. But this one is my favorite. So if you like this one, feel free to look at Tangi Library on our virtual catalog and see if there are others that you would like to try. Chick had read The Adventures of Wonder Pug 127 times. Every page was packed with excitement. But there was no excitement in the chicken coop. So Chick set off to find some. It wasn't long before he found a real live wonder pug. And do you remember what pugs do when they sleep? They snore louder than your grandpa. <laughs> Big and loud. Wow, Chick swooned. Even asleep, he looks wonderful. Chick waited for his hero to wake up. Do, 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 do. But sometimes even a hero needs a wake-up call. So Chick got his megaphone and said, Hi! Really loud. That's a loud hi. And the dog said, because pugs are very sound sleepers. You're the wonder pug, right? Chick asked. I'm a pug. I was a sleeping pug. <laughs> well, pug, Chick sighed. I think you are magnificent. And I am going to be a wonder pug when I grow up. Can a chicken turn into a dog when it gets bigger? No, but he's pretty sure. And sometimes you guys might want to be Superman or Spider-Man. So we understand that, right? I mean, laying eggs all day, pecking in the dirt. What kind of life is that? He must be saving his energy for his adventure. Pug was not paying attention. Wait, what's that? A twitch? A wiggle? Ooh. Okay, here we go. Chick was all a flutter with excitement. Let the adventures begin. Go get him, Tiger. Show him that knotted show that knotted rope who's boss. Okay, what about the frisbee? Are you just gonna let it taunt you like that? You never know when an empty can might turn on you. But the pug is very lazy, because pugs are very lazy. Oh, Marjorie, did it come off again? Suddenly, Chick heard the clicking of footsteps. Who is that? What does she want? Ooh, Puggly Wuggly looks so handsome in his little outfit. Look at him go. He must have trained vigorously to beat such an opponent. Chick was impressed. Now, Mr. Snuggles, you go play with Puggly Wuggly. But the stranger came back. Hey, Pug, Pug, do you see what I see? Pug, Pug, Pug! An intruder has entered your territory. Clearly, Pug's strategy was to play dead. There must be something I can do, thought St Chick. But what? A staring contest? An egg right in the kisser? And then it came to him. Woof! The chicken said. Hmm. Mr. Snuggles didn't count on a wonder pug having a sidekick, did he? The end. All right, let's get our turtle out there. Cover it with your shell. My mommy has a turtle, she named him Tiny Tim. She put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all his water, he ate up all the soap, and now he's home sick in bed with a bubble in its throat. Bubble, 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 bubble. Don't forget to pick up your chick craft at all six Tangy Library branches. Come see me. I miss you. I love you. Mwah. Bye.